Welcome back again, boys and girls. Today we are going to be working with our hundreds and beyond chart. It looks like this. If you were in school last year, you probably saw something like this on your teacher's wall. And this is something that we used. You also probably practiced writing your numbers one through 100 or more a lot, because that's something we need to know how to do. We are going to use this hundreds chart, which you can find in your manila folder and we're going to do something called mental math using our number sense brain again. We're going to also need our finger, so make sure it's ready to go. I am going to have you start by finding a number that I say on the hundreds chart. Find the number four. Did you find it? You're right, it's right there, the number four. If you're not sure how to find the number four, you can start at the beginning and count. One, two, three, four, and put your finger there. Without moving your finger, can you tell me what is the next number after four? One more? It's five, you're right. Without moving your finger, let's put our finger back on the number four, can you tell me what is two more than four? Oh dear, I might need to move my finger. Four, and then two more. One, two. That's the number six. So two more than four is six. Hmm. Now I'm going to look at this hundreds grid. And you know what I notice? I bet you notice it too. There are some interesting patterns. For example, do you notice that all of the numbers in this row have a zero at the end? Huh, well that's interesting. Hmm. Do you notice that the numbers in this row or column all have a one at the end? I wonder, do all of the columns do that? Let's check. One, 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 one. Yep. Two, 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 two. Hmm. Two, 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 two. Well, that's an interesting pattern. This has one, this has two, three, 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 three. Hmm. Four, 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 four. Five, five. Five, five, five. Well, this is an interesting thing. Boys and girls, patterns are what we call when we notice something is a similar thing over and over again. All right, let's go back to that number four. Four. What is three more than a four? You can move your finger if you want. Three more than four is seven. Hmm. If I put my finger on the number eight, remember, if you're not sure what it is, you can start at the one and count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want to go four more. One, two, wait a minute, there's nothing left. How can I go four more? If I start at eight, one, two, what do I do? Oh, I go to the next row. One, two, three, oh, that's what I do. So eight, four more than eight is one, two, three, four. That's how you do it, 12. Is that the number 12, one, two? Hmm. That's a weird word, 12. Okay, I'm gonna start on the number three this time. Can you find it before me? Put your finger on it. Nice work. Here's the number three. Let's add five more. One, two, three, four, five. Did you beat me? Five more than three is eight. Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to try to trick you. 
put your number, your finger, on the number nine. See if you can beat me. Do you spy it? I bet you do. Here it is. Here's the number nine. Now, instead of more, I'm going to say less. What is two less than nine? Now, when we say more, we count up. One, two. But if my finger's on the nine and I want to say less, I go backwards. One, two, seven. Seven is two less than nine. Well, there are some really cool things on this hundreds chart and we're going to keep working at it this whole year long. And there's something new that I find in numbers charts all the time. And there are always really cool patterns. So thanks for playing with your hundreds chart and beyond today. Don't forget to put it back in your manila envelope when you're done so you can find it again later.